If you're new to investing and want to know how to invest $10,000, it's important to expand your view on what investing entails. Investing goes beyond just choosing where to place your money. It also involves how you invest your time and resources. Welcome to Money Mind Finance, a social platform where we share practical tips and insights on money, investments, retirement, elegance, beauty, and success of luxury living. Join our community by giving this video a like, share it, and subscribe for more valuable content. We've compiled a list of 10 diverse methods for investing $10,000, focusing on creating a well-rounded financial strategy. A key principle to keep in mind is compound interest. Essentially, compound interest is the process of earning interest on both your initial investment and the interest that accumulates over time. Compound interest is a fundamental concept in saving and investing. Simply put, it refers to the interest you earn on both your initial investment and the interest that has already been added to your balance. For example, if you start with $1,000 and earn a 5% interest rate on your money, you'll have earned $50 for a total of $1,050 at the end of one year. When you keep that money invested, you now generate interest on $1,050, which, at the same 5% rate, grows by $5,250 to under $1,250 after two years. Let it ride, and by the end of 10 years, you'll have one tom 628.89, all without making additional new money contributions. Here are how to invest $10,000 with 10 proven strategies. At the end of this video, we will answer some frequently asked questions that you might have. 1. Pay off high interest debt. Consider credit card debt as the negative counterpart to compound interest. In this case, the bank adds interest to your principal balance every month. It then calculates future interest based on your new total, which includes the interest already accrued. For instance, if you open a credit card account and charge $1,000 and only make the minimum payment without adding new charges, the debt will grow rapidly due to the accumulating interest. It will take four years and nine months to get to a $0 balance. Over that period, you'll pay $639.39 in interest, based on the average credit credit APR of 22.75%, as of November 2023. This is because you're paying interest on your interest instead of earning it. 2. Build an emergency fund. Once you have that out of the way, I would recommend it putting $99 and $80 in an emergency fund. Then take the other $20 and buy a book. It could be one of the best investments to make. If you find yourself paying more in interest than you're earning and are unable to handle emergencies like a loss of income, it's likely that your investment dollars are not being used effectively. This misallocation can hinder your financial progress compared to traditional saving and investing options. 3. Open a high-yield savings account. Speaking of compound interest and emergency funds, a high-yield savings account can make sense on both counts. High-yield savings accounts typically pay superior interest to traditional bank accounts, so they're a good place to park security blanket cash. Let's go back to our earlier example. If you invest $9.980 in an emergency fund with a 5% return, you would have 10,479 after one year, 11,553 after three years, and 12,737 after five years. While interest rates may vary over time, this illustrates the potential growth of your funds. In this scenario, you could, once you hit your target emergency fund balance, maybe three to six months worth of expenses, start directing your interest payments elsewhere. 4. Build a CD ladder if you don't need immediate access to your savings. A CD ladder is another way to benefit from compound interest. In a CD ladder, you allocate your funds among multiple certificates of deposit, CDs, that have varying maturity dates. Throughout the duration of each CD, you earn compound interest on your investment. Once a CD matures, you can choose to roll over the total amount, both the principal and the interest earned into a new CD. 5. Get your 401k match. If you have a workplace retirement plan, such as a 401k, be sure to take care of any 401k match if your employer offers it. How much you earn and can afford to contribute ultimately dictates exactly how much you will contribute to your 401k. It might be less than $10,000, but it could be more. The matching money from your employer is essentially free money, enhancing the already powerful effects of compounding inside these types of accounts. Any interest, capital gains, or dividend income you realize inside your traditional 401k grows on a tax-deferred basis. 6. Max out your IRA. After you have taken full advantage of your 401k match, or if you don't have access to a 401k, consider maxing out your contribution to a traditional or Roth IRA, 
Your income and tax filing status will dictate whether you can contribute to these accounts and the amount allowed, but it will be under $10,000 per year. For the 2024 tax year, the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, caps total IRA contributions at $7,000 annually or $8,000 if you are 50 or older. You can invest the $7,000 all at once or break it into equal contributions of $583.33 a month. You could always take the excess $3,000 and invest it elsewhere. 7. Invest through a self-directed brokerage account. Another option is to open a self-directed brokerage account. It's easy to open an account. The tough part is determining where to invest all or part of your $10,000. 8. Invest in a REIT. It may be difficult to invest in physical real estate with $10,000. However, you can still invest in multiple areas of the real estate market through stocks known as Real Estate Investment Trusts, REITs. If you're wondering how to invest $10,000 for passive income, REITs could be the answer. Government regulations requires that REITs must distribute at least 90% of their taxable income as dividends to shareholders. This allows investors to gain exposure to real estate indirectly while also providing the chance to earn dividend income, which can be reinvested to harness the benefits of compounding. 9. Contribute to your HSA. Another type of non-traditional investment allows you to set aside pre-tax money to pay for certain medical expenses. Like an IRA, a health savings account, HSA, comes with contribution limits. $4 to $150 for individual coverage and $8 $300 for family coverage. With a $1,000 catch-up contribution for people 55 and older as of the 2024 tax year. If you have access, think of it as a combination of not having to use money you're saving or investing to cover current or future health expenses as well as one way to invest in yourself. 10. Invest in yourself. Speaking of investing in yourself, you can probably think of a lot of ways to do so. Of course, you can further your education or start exercising. These strategies could help you increase your earnings or reduce health care expenses. You can then take the extra funds and allocate them to one of the previously mentioned methods for investing $10,000. You could also start a side hustle. That's the flavor of the day, no doubt. But it goes beyond ride booking services, delivering food, or becoming a YouTube star. While all potentially fine options, you could always take what you currently do for a living, quite possibly for an employer and parlay into a side job, such as consulting, teaching, or content creation. If you act like you don't have that additional income by immediately saving or investing it, you could wind up with $10,000 or more over time to help further your financial goals. Maintain a long-term outlook. No matter what you do, don't try to build your savings and investing plan in a day. It might take months, if not years. Above all, reducing debt and saving up emergency money is very essential. Also, consider your investment and other options. The sooner you get out of debt, the faster you can start to save and invest. Then, consistency, time, and patience are the key ingredients to letting the magic of compounding do its work. Here are frequently asked questions that you might have. Which real estate investment strategies can be leveraged with $10,000? As mentioned in the beginning of this video, free ITs make sense. It's important to note that different REITs invest in different areas of the real estate market, from residential to commercial to areas you might not initially think of, such as data centers, mortgages, and public storage. You can also team with others to invest in real estate. Use $10,000 as a down payment on your primary residence, or take that money to fix up a property you can then rent out or sell. What type of IRA is best for a $10,000 investment? Remember to keep the aforementioned IRA contribution limits in mind. From there, the decision between a traditional and Roth IRA comes down to your specific situation. If you are in a higher tax bracket now than you expect to become retirement, a traditional IRA is generally the better choice. Whereas a lower tax bracket now and a higher one in retirement typically makes the Roth a better idea. What are robo-advisors and how can they help with investing $10,000? It is an automated investing platform powered by algorithms. They can be a good place to put together an investment plan with $10,000 or another sum of money. They ask questions about your preferences and goals, then allocate your cash across appropriate types of investments. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with others on their financial journey. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.